Hey guys, it's time for some Project Zomboid tips and tricks. My name is Drunk on Life, but you can call me Drunk for short, and these tips are based around things I've learned after hundreds of hours playing Z Project Zomboid, as well as tidbits of advice I've gotten from viewer comments along the way. Now, I would consider these tips a mixed bag of beginners, intermediate, and advanced tricks that vary from quality of life tips to choosing the best traits, at least in my opinion, to my own personal fighting strategy when dealing with larger zombie groups. Just so you know, these are my own personal opinions, but I'm hoping that you'll be able to apply one or two to your Zomboid game. So you ready to go? Giddy up! First off, let's talk about traits. Most of these are based around personal preference and gameplay style. I know I'm going to get a lot of disagreement on this, but generally in terms of positive traits, I would unequivocally recommend cat's eyes. Why cat's eyes? Well, we'll get into that later because it's connected to two tips that I have for you. That could change how you play the Project Zomboid game. More on that later, though. As far as negative traits go, I suggest you choose the ones that eventually go away. Things like underweight, overweight, bad vision. If you're using Hydrocraft, you could also do hard of hearing. Do not choose anything with strength or fitness, as both of these are extremely hard to level up, though. Well, choose them if you want a more challenging playthrough. And if you want a little bit easier playthrough, you could always go with things like fit and stout or strong as well, since they are so hard to level up. All right, tip number two. So why cat size? Well, in a nutshell, it opens up the game in terms of looting time. With build 40, the developers made it nearly impossible to navigate without a flashlight at night. If you, you just can't see. You can't see without cat size. But with cat size, you can actually flip the script. Uh, who says you, can't, you shouldn't loot at night and sleep during the day? Uh, that opens up a whole new aspect of the game. Uh, zombie eyesight is just not that good. Uh, when it's dark at night, you can literally sneak your way around the map with a greater chance of not being detected even on maps with insane populations. I know this, I've had a series on it with a thief and uh, I've done it. I, also looting in buildings at night suddenly becomes possible uh, without the use of a light source, which by the way can attract zombies to your location. Your chance for a stealth skill raises even higher as well. There have been times where zombies are literally inches from my face and they simply don't see me because of the darkness. Which leads us to tip number three, also related to cat size. By looting at night, you can increase your sneak really, really fast without it being a game hack. So leveling up sneaking is directly affected by the amount of zombies around you within a proximity. Because you are sneaking at night, the chances of them discovering you are less likely than, say, sneaking in the daytime. The more zombies around you, the faster your XP goes up. In my opinion, in terms of leveling up for just generic skill points, there is no better way to do it than to successfully sneak around the map. Doing so at night simply increases your chances. All right, this is more of a quality of life tip. Uh, everyone knows you can speed up time by pressing the little icons in the top right portion of your uh, screen. But did you know you can also access time through hotkeys? Through F2, F3, F4, and F5, you can pause, resume, double the speed, and triple the speed just by tapping these hotkeys. This can come in handy when you're moving inventory or cutting down trees or doing pretty much anything that's time consuming. I find myself cutting down a tree, pressing F5, and then F3 to slow time back down. It literally shaves off like four seconds from the uh, game, which is nice. Um, and the shout out goes to Cromlin Archer for this tip. He mentioned it in one of his playthroughs and I appreciate it. It's a great tip. Tip number five, how to advance carpentry at mock speed. When I first started playing Zomboid, I would basically disassemble anything I saw, chairs, tables, doors, etc. I've also seen people suggest things like uh, sawing logs. The problem is that even with an experience boost you would get from reading books, the XP was anywhere in the 5 to 10 point range in the lower levels. Um, it was just a grind, uh, so you can skip the grind with this tip. Instead of disassembling chairs, tables, and doors, go for the beds instead. The beds, by disassembling them, even at a low level, it will net a huge XP bonus. This shout out goes to Kila. he's one of my viewers, he actually suggested this to me and it has worked wonders. Thank you for the tip, man. So this tip may come with a little resistance, but it's usually my first main objective when starting a fresh game. When I first started playing Zomboid, I was told that a sledgehammer is perhaps the most important tool to staying alive because you can knock out stairs, thus making the upstairs completely safe. And, you know, for the most part, I could see where people would think that. But after 500 hours of playing the game, I would say it's not the most important thing to attain early in game. In my opinion, the best way to ensure survival is to find a car with gas, and a generator. The car increases your mobility, allowing you to flee an area if needed, and I'm thinking about that early event, the helicopter event, which wrecks most playthroughs, and it increases the range in which you can explore, which also increases your chances of eventually finding a sledgehammer. The generator is used to power the gas pumps when the power goes out, giving you an infinite supply of gas. 
Bonus tip, if you can park your car where the driver's side door is blocked, you can safely sleep at night without the worry of getting attacked at night. Now, I don't can't remember who made this tip, but uh, thank you anyway. It's a good tip. All right, now to fighting techniques. This might not be useful for some of the more advanced Project Zomboid players, maybe even the intermediate, but it will be useful if you're a beginner and you're just kind of struggling through the whole Project Zomboid experience. When I first started playing Zomboid, uh, fighting a group of zombies more than, say, three or four would feel like suicide. Fast forward several hundred hours of play, gameplay, and now I sometimes tackle hordes in the 20 to 30 range. Here's how I do it. The first uh, tip is to learn how to safely do one-shot bladed kills. This is more of a feel thing. But the gist of it is once you make contact with the zombie, zombie head goes down and you take your shot before the animation is complete. It's important to master this, uh, this skill because these one shot kills are silent, thus uh, not alerting the rest of the group. And it also doesn't affect your stamina, which is the most likely thing that will get you killed when you're trying to tackle these larger groups. Try to pull the stragglers around the edges as well first. This will help to reduce the immediate numbers, make it easier to manage. And there's likely going to be a leader zombie in the group. If and when you pull him close to you, it is highly likely that the rest will follow. If this happens, pull back and start to separate the zombies who are the fastest. Move from fast to slow. Don't be scared to push them down if there's more than one or two. More than two, actually. Um, if they're, and if they're coming at you at the same speed, it's highly likely. This is referred to as kiting. You're basically breaking the horde down by zombie speed. If you run into a group that is lumped together going the same speed, you can either use an axe if you have one, or kite them along behind a building and backtrack around behind them. By doing this, you basically unclump them into a more manageable size. Repeat the process again and again until the zombie threat is eliminated. That's it for the tips in this video. If you are new to the channel and haven't seen my beginner tip video, be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, if you enjoy Project Zomboid and want to see more Project Zomboid on this channel, like this video, you can subscribe. I do Zomboid videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday pretty much every week. I'm currently a month and a half into my latest playthrough, Johnny's Story. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I do respond. Thanks for watching, y'all. Giddy up.